From the Far East, we return to the French Alps for the penultimate round of Trophy Andros from Lon en Vercors. Earlier on, we saw Jean-Baptiste Dubourg take his third win of the season and stretch his lead advantage to 35 points with four super finals to go. So the starting grid sees Nate Berthon in the number four in pole position, Nico Prost in the five behind him, then Jan Erlache behind him. And away they go, good start from Berthon as he pulls away quite quickly from the start as it's jostling for position behind. And Trophy Andros continues to bring the star names, once their fathers, but now the likes of Nico Prost following in the footsteps, as is Panis. And of course, in terms of Ilache, nephew to Ivan Muller running the team now, but definitely a big part of the action here. The most successful driver in ice racing. Bethon dealing with the conditions very well. And Prost, though, staying with him, but this is the real battle for the race. And Erlasher doing a good job, but you can see how close it is. Panis, the third of that group. And coming now down to the closing stages of this one, Nathaniel Berthon coming out of the hairpin and will drive away in the number four. And this has been a clean and good result for Berthon. He takes the chequered flag. Nico Prost will take second place. And Earl Ashe holds on to take third overall. A look at the updated point standings shows the win for Berthon cement his fourth place in the standings, 15 points behind Panis, Alache and Dubourg, the leader by 25. And there is just one more round to go on the slopes of Val Turenne, where a triple head around will decide the champion. Can Dubourg hold on or will one of the others steal it from him at the last round? Find out next week on Motorsport Mundial.